Finthorn Foundation is embarking upon a very special project of renewal of some of its buildings in and around the original garden area at the heart of the community. We are very happy to be working with the Foundation on the design of seven new buildings that will replace some existing structures from the 1960s when the community began that are reaching the end of their lives. We are proposing five new guest dwellings called the Seed Lodges as well as two other buildings that will provide meeting spaces and offices for staff of the Foundation. One of those is called The Wave and the other one Nautilus. It's really exciting to be envisioning new buildings for the Finthorn Foundation and something of a turning point for the Finthorn community. The community has a history of growing up on a site that was a holiday caravan park and so has had sometimes to make do with existing caravans, storage sheds and these kinds of buildings. But now we have a really great opportunity to make new bespoke buildings that truly embody the values of the Foundation values of inner listening, co-creation with nature, and workers' love in action. And it's being carried out as a practice of really honouring the past, but looking to the future, something that Eileen Caddy often referred to as the city of light. The seed lodges are five new dwellings which guests will stay in when they come to the foundation for a programme. And they've been designed to try to really give those guests an experience of living communally together, the shape of the buildings has been based on the vesica, which is the shape when you intersect two circles. And it's a, it's a symbol for the union of human culture with nature. And in fact, the whole design process has been looking for that, looking for ways to co-create with the natural world um, from the environment as a whole down to the individual trees, plants and other species that are living on the site. The Wave is a long, slender building on the western side of the original garden area and it provides meeting space and offices for Foundation staff. The design has really tried to be as responsive as possible to the existing trees on the site and so it dips down low where it goes under the branches and then rises up into the open spaces in between the trees. The Wave is designed with a covered arcade on its eastern side, a bit like a medieval street where the community will pass by each other during the day. And then at the northern end, the building pinches together, forming a new arched entranceway into the foundation. The Nautilus is a second office building, but one with a different character to the wave. This one's located on a corner site, which is quite visible, and also a spot that's been known for its creative energy. It takes the form of a spiral, and the spiral literally grows out of the original garden, and the landscape flows up and onto its roof. Lastly, we're proposing a new outdoor gathering space, an orchard circle made from stone walls, stone benches and fruit trees. There's a really nice opportunity on this corner of the site to create an open space uh, that connected to the garden and that created a place for people to meet and to meditate and also a place for stillness. The design process for these buildings has been very powerful and very energizing and we're deeply committed to creating buildings that really embody the values of the foundation. This means that in terms of sustainability they need to be world leading, world changing. And this is not just on the technical level of carbon, renewable energy, biodiversity, zero waste, but also on the personal level, the level of embodied experience that we can make buildings that help us to come into community with one another and with the natural world. It's an ambitious aim, but it's one that is urgently needed in Findhorn, uh, for society and for our beautiful living planet. <laughs>